Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is uh, James Burston, and I'm recording another video. Okay, so this video is about this week's uh, Parsha, um, which is uh, Vayera, I Appear. And like I said before in my other videos, this circle represents how much I think I know. Don't know everything. And so when I put my videos out there and I'm putting what I believe out there, um, I encourage people to challenge it. I encourage people to ask questions, um, bring up bring up other topics, uh, comment, whether good, bad, all constructive criticism is most definitely uh, welcome because uh, the Bible says iron sharpeneth iron. So does the friend sharpen up, sharpen up the countenance of his friend's face. And so I accept all the comments. It helps me grow. It helps me to learn. Um, it challenges my, my way of thinking. It gives me broader perspective. And it helps me to be able to see um, how other people think as well. So, Vayera, I appeared. It starts off with Yah, God, Adonai, Yahuwah, whichever name you decide to use. It starts off saying that he appeared to Moshe's father, Moses' forefathers, which is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he says, I appeared to them as El Shaddai, which is God Almighty. I didn't make myself known to him like I have done to you as yud Vavhe. vav -Heh. And so he's explaining to um, Moses, after he has commissioned him and, excuse me, him and Aaron to go into Egypt, go back to Egypt and to tell Pharaoh to let the people, of, let the people of Israel go, let his people go. And so this right here is just God confirming that what he, what he said to Abraham. Abraham, what he said to Isaac, what he said to Jacob or Yaakov, what he said to them is going to come is going to come to pass. Because in the book of uh in the book of Romans, I, I believe one of the um Brahadashah readings, it, it explains that Abraham, um, Isaac and Jacob Though they did not see the promise, they kept they kept on trusting in in God, Yah, Yahuwah, Adonai, yud -Heh vav -Heh. They kept trusting him. They kept trusting him as though they already had the promise. And so what we have to understand is that what our forefathers have done in paving paving the way, um, if we go back and we search our, our history. All God is doing in our lives for us is he's confirming that what he told our forefathers way back when is going to come is going to come to come to pass. And so for those of you who are who um, are under pastors and other um, religious leaders, if you're not being guided in such a way that you are hearing from the Holy Spirit for, for yourself and that you are being positioned to hear, hear from God. And to be able to move when God says move, to be able to speak when God says speak, be able to shut your mouth when God says shut your mouth, and to be able to walk away from a situation when God says walk walk away, you might want to pray and really consider that leader that, that you're under. Why? Because Moses, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Yaakov, whichever name you want to call him, they were all hearing from God for themselves. They were all positioned as the one man that God called to hear from him for themselves. Moshe, Moses, Moshe, he hears from God for himself. The way was paved from the, from the very beginning. Moses spoke with God face to face. So what I'm saying is that when God is confirming what he has already told, told the forefathers to you, he has already said it. He has already said it. He is confirming to you that he is going to keep his covenant. Because what he tells 
But he tells Moses, I remembered my covenant and I'm going to bring it to pass through you. Third and fourth generation. And so when it says to the third, he's visiting the third and fourth generation of those that hate him and showing the thousands and showing love and mercy to the thousands of generations of them that love him and keep his commandments you figure there's 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 a long there's a long line of history you have you have Adam Abraham Isaac and Yaakov those are the those are the four generations understand what i'm saying and i want you guys to meditate on this those are the four generations Adam had a generation of living almost a thousand years with um, M M M Methuselah, who lived uh, the longest in in that time frame. You have, um, you have Ab Ab Abraham. You have Isaac. You have Yaakov. Third and fourth generation. He's visiting the iniquities to the third and fourth generation of those that hate him, but showing love and mercy unto the thousands. That love him and keep his commandments. Ab Adam, Abraham, Isaac, Yaakov. Moshe comes along. Numbers mean something. Numbers mean, mean something. So you have Adam, Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov. So now, fourth commandment is remember the Sabbath to keep it holy, right? Let's look at this. Fourth generation would be Yaakov. Yaakov is the first one to say, God, if you fulfill all that you have told me you would fulfill, I would faithfully return a tenth. I will faithfully return a tenth to you of everything I own. Gives the first, he's given the first tithe, given the first, first tithe. So remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. The fourth one remembers, remembers God and keeps what he does by and how he remembers God, I should say, is he gives a tithe faithfully of everything that he owns. The first fruits of it, his increase, he gives to God. He gives to Yah. He gives to Adonai. Third one. Three, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Isaac, promise child. Child of promise, miraculous birth. You can't tell me that's not the Holy Spirit. And I hope some of y'all can, I hope y'all feel the anointing on that because I do. I feel the anointing on that. And it's not to big myself up. When I feel, when I feel that anointing, I feel that fire of God. I acknowledge that because that is how I acknowledge my, my calling, regardless of what anyone thinks or says about me or what anybody believes about what I believe in. I'm okay with that. Child of promise. Isaac, child of promise. Child of promise, representative of, of, the, of the Holy Holy Spirit. Second one, we got Adam, Ab Abraham. 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 Abraham, li li literally, is told to get up and go. He's told to get up and go to where God told him to go. Is that is is that not is is that not the son? Did Yeshua not come come here and do what what it, what his what his father purposed for him to do? Abraham did the same thing. He got up, got up, and he went, and he went to to where God showed him. And he landmarked every, and he landmarked everything. He landmarked the places where God revealed Himself. Yeshua landmarked, landmarked the Father. How did he? How did he do that? It doesn't talk about Yeshua leaving, leaving landmarks, building altars, and none of that. Well, to a degree, you, if you are open to it, yeah, he did. He made plenty of altars. Plenty of altars to sacrifice on. 
all 12 of those disciples, including the devil, Judas, was was uh, an altar an altar to Adonai. Haven't I chosen all 12 of you and one of you as a devil? What do you mean? Haven't I chosen all 12 of you from, from 12 places that to prove that my my father is is real he takes people from 12 different walks of life and they fight they just get they get up and they fight they follow him he chose the devil and so what I what I'm saying is that people that are wicked people that are evil people that um will do you wrong I'm not saying get rid of them in your life I'm saying know who know who they are and when you know that something bad needs to be done, you know you can count on these people that are wicked, evil, and untrustworthy to do their due diligence. Now, Adam, created from the dust, breath of life was blown into him. Why? God speaks. There, there it is. And so, Adam, Adam is a very clear represent, representation of of the of the of the first of the first commandment. Why? I am the Lord thy God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt, the land of lost wisdom. You have no other mighty ones against my face. You have no other gods before me. He brought you out of the land of Egypt with an outstretched hand, strong arm. And there's no no other gods before before him. And so, when it was just Adam and God in the garden, yes, true. Eve came along, and it shows, and it, and it and it proves that there are some things in there are some things that that are given to us because the Bible says a gift blinds that we. We'll love more. there are some things that, that are in our life that we will love more than God or something in our life that we will love more than God that we are willing to die for for Adam it was his wife Eve so what I'm saying is you have to realize that each one of those scenarios I brought up every single la last one of them all serve serve their purpose. They all had confirmation from 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 God doing doing what what they were doing. And so, no one's going to do something unless they believe it is the right thing to do. Why am I saying that? You are going you are going to come up with a reason. To do what it is, whatever it is you're going to do, whether it's good or bad, you are going to justify it. You are going to come up with an excuse in order to do it. Adam, it was his wife. So we have to think about God confirm, com, giving us confirmation. He confirmed with with Moshe that he was going to do all that he told his forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that he he was going to do, and he was going to do it through him. And so, long and behold, when the children of Israel are delivered, they go and sacrifice, and they're now they're now um li living in in the in the desert. That that's when that's when you you can see the manifestation of what of what of what God says. So I'm not gonna sit here and make make a long video. My my point is is you have a purpose. You are called, and when God is speaking to you, He's con He's confirming with you what He has called you to do, what He has qualified you for, and what He has equipped you for. And he is confirming with you the weapon that he is fashioning you to be. So what I what I'm saying is when that con confirmation comes, you may not. It's like Abraham, Isaac, and and, and Jacob. You may not see it right then and there during during the beginning, 
But what I'm saying is if you hold on for the long haul, the long run, excuse me, you will see the manifestation, excuse me, in the long run. And that's what this is about. Why the race is not given to the swift nor the battle given to the strong, but to he that endures to the end. If you endure to to the end, trusting trusting in God with all your heart, leaning not to your own understanding, and all your ways acknowledging him, and he shall direct thy path, because man makes plan and God orders his steps. You follow the path that was laid out for you. You will see the manifestation. But part of the process is going through the Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob process. You're not going to see the manifestation of everything that 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 God is talking about. You may not see the fulfillment of the of the vision in in the beginning, but the generation that is here on on, on earth now, we we will begin see, seeing some of that manifestation. We will be around for for the change. We will be around for the transition of power. And so us being us having that confirmation and us seeing beginning to see that change, see that that shift in, 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 in power, we have to look at setting our children up to be more successful than we were. A lot of us weren't 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 set up for success like 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 we should have been. That doesn't matter anymore. God reigns on the just and the unjust. He has a he has a plan. He says he knows the thoughts and plans that, that he had that he has for us. So we have to Go on the fact that we have our own relationship with God. We can hear from him ourselves. And you have to be able to take that confirmation of what God told your forefathers and run run with that. Why? Because only the people who truly believe that they can change the world ever change it. You may not see see how they have, have, have changed, changed the world, but... There's definitely a change. Whoever God chooses will change the world. If you are chosen, you will change the world. Some way, shape, form, or fashion, you will change the world o o around you. All, you. all you are responsible for is your little area. Small area that God gave you, that is all you are in, in, in charge of. So when God confirms with you, that is what he's confirming. That this that this part of the world is your yours to change. I'm giving this responsibility to you. Why? To whom much is given, much is required. This is your work. This is your area. This is your lane. And as long as we stay in our lane, and we don't try to match somebody else's energy and try to be a part of something that we're that we're not about, we, we will be fine. We have to learn. How to stay in our lane and my mind our own business and do and do our own own work. And so that is that is how we end, we end up prospering. And what we have to do is we have to invest. Stop spending. Stop trying to sa save our way out of things and invest our way into success. That's probably going to end up being, being being my new slogan for this year. Invest your way to success. Hashtag I'm built for this. Invest your way into success. Hashtag I'm built for this. Everybody is built for whatever they have to go through in order to become successful. Everybody is. You are built for whatever it is that you have to go through in order to become successful. But I'm not going to um, drag this on. I've made my point. Meditate on meditate on it on the on some things that, that have been said. Pray about it. Take your time. Think about it. Why? Slowly but surely we are making our way towards reparations. That's why. Plan, purpose, process. Invest your way into success. Hashtag you are built for this. That's why. Stimulus checks are coming. Please invest. Your way into success. Invest in the stock market. Invest in, in 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 a in a business. In in invest in anything that will get you a resi residual income. As long as you are being legal about it, and as long as it does not uh def 
uh, defile your character as long as it does not take away from who you are as a human being. And it puts you in a position to where you as a minority, as, as, as a black, as God's chosen, you look like one of the best citizens on the planet. And you are and you are the epitome of what Yehoshua of what Yehoshua would be if he was still on this earth in, in, in the flesh. That is how you want to live your lives on purpose. Being the example of God's child. That's how we want to live. That's it for me. I hope you gleaned something out of it, got something out of it. Like, share, comment. This is James Burson. My video is over. You guys be blessed. Shalom.